This car behind me is a 2021 Tesla Model Y with no radar. Yes, folks, this is a Tesla Model Y with no radar. Since April 27th, 2021, any Model 3 or Model Y built doesn't have a radar anymore. What Tesla is doing is they're doubling down on the cameras. They're going away from the radar. Elon said this just a few months ago and that the company was moving to a pure vision approach with autopilot and full self-driving. They're not gonna rely on the radar anymore. So much so that they've taken the radar out of these cars. And now this car, just like any other Model 3 or Model Y, like I said, built after April 27th, doesn't have the radar in it. And uh, because of that, what some of the limitations are is auto steer, smart summons, and emergency lane departure will be either be temporarily limited or inactive until a series of software updates reinstate the features. Now, this could be two weeks, like Elon seems to always say, or this could be two months or a year. We don't know, but um, we're going backwards to progress forward. I think that's how they did it. Why they took the radar out before they did this, that's up for debate and that's a whole different controversy in itself. But what we wanna concentrate on in this video is see what the limitations are with this car that doesn't have a radar compared to the cars that actually do have radar. Now I've driven a car that has a radar for the last three years. So I know the difference. And if you're watching this, you probably know the difference, but you probably wanna know if there's any limitations like they say they are and if it's, um, a safety issue. Now keep in mind as of filming this, this is uh, May 27th, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's updated their websites and this applies and affects Model 3s and Model Ys that were built after April 27th. They've basically taken some check marks away from some standard features that the Model Y had and the Model 3 had before, which include forward collision warning, lane departure warning, crash imminent braking, and dynamic braking support. Now, I'm not gonna be able to test all these things like the crash imminent warning. I'm not gonna put the car into that kind of situation just in the sake of science, I can't do that. But what we'll do is we'll go through the settings first and see if there's any differences between what a current Model Y or Model 3 has on it and what this car has on it. And we'll go through those differences and see if there's any difference. Then we'll go on the road and we'll do a little test drive. Yeah, so let's quickly just go through the screens here um, in the settings. The quick controls, as you can see, nothing looks different than I can see here. Everything else seems to be the same. Uh, Off-road assist, step start, trailer mode, that has nothing to do. I think where we'll see the most um, changes, if any, will be in autopilot. So. This car does not have full self-driving, uh, but I don't think it'll make a difference uh, for what we're gonna be testing today. Um, auto steer, uh, which is autopilot, uh, that's on, speed limit looks to be fine. Down here, I think is where the most differences will come into play. Now the forward collision warning does say that it's enabled. Uh, I have it set to medium, we're gonna test that out. It isn't grayed out in the menu here. Lane departure avoidance, uh, it also looks like it's working. Uh, I have it uh, set to assist. It's not grayed out. Uh, the only thing that's grayed out here is the emergency lane departure avoidance. And in a small print here, you can see it says emergency lane departure avoidance will be enabled in a future software release. Okay, before we go anywhere, let's take a look at the cameras, the exterior cameras. Now I had a friend of mine take a picture of his recent Model Y that he got before April 27th. It was manufactured before then, so it has the radar in there uh, and it has the regular cameras. So here's a picture of those cameras, those front three configured forward facing cameras. And uh, now let's take a look at this newer built after April 27th camera configuration. For me, to the naked eye, I can't see any difference. Now, this is an uneducated guess, obviously, um, without taking it apart and knowing the behind the scenes science and technology behind these cameras. It's hard to make a definitive answer, but I'm gonna hazard a guess that these cameras don't look any different. The reason I'm looking at these cameras is you never know. With the omission of the radar now, maybe they've upgraded the three forward facing cameras to add more depth or they're better cameras of some sort. So I just wanted to take a look to see, but from the naked eye, I don't see any difference. Okay, let's begin by just doing the basic autopilot. Uh, we're on a multi-lane road here. I'm just gonna engage autopilot. It goes on no problem as you can see. It's got the blue lane markings there uh, depicting the lanes that it's recognizing the lanes. 
it's showing the garbage truck up ahead and it's uh, slowing down it's sort of slowing down a little abruptly more than uh, I thought it would but um, it's still stopping now in terms of the distance let's see where we're at we're at we were at a uh, three there so now it goes seven is the maximum distance and we can go all the way down to three three is the minimum which is fine because I never went to one or two anyways I always did three or four so three or four that's the minimum distance that you can do now this has this doesn't have autopilot sorry this doesn't have full self-driving um, it just has autopilot but it has the preview where it shows as you can see cones here uh, and it shows traffic lights and stop signs and stuff like that, but it won't stop at them so as you can see and it won't change lanes automatically you'll have to come out of autopilot and change lanes so as you can see um, the cameras are working no no uh, radar the cameras are working perfectly fine now the beauty with the radar when we had it on the other car is that you could see the radar would bounce underneath the vehicle in front of you to the other vehicle in front of that and it would see whatever it needed to see and if that car or vehicle in front was emergency braking or anything it would know that before we can even see it and they would uh, take over now without the radar I don't see how the cameras can do that especially when I have a huge vehicle like this garbage truck in front of me there's no way that with the camera suite alone that it could see what's in front okay we're still behind this garbage truck let's uh, come out of autopilot change lanes uh, past this garbage truck and see if now that I'm standing I'm behind a regular sedan let's see if uh, the screen and the cameras sorry the cameras would pick up any cars in front of it now there's a larger SUV in front of this vehicle but as you can see on the screen here the cameras aren't picking that up it's just seeing the vehicle by itself it's not even picking up the large tractor trailer oh now it's picking up the large tractor trailer so there's definitely some limitations I don't know uh, how the cameras will be able to uh, do what the radar was doing and picking up that lead vehicle in front of your vehicle that you're following behind okay so I'm on the highway now I'm gonna put autopilot on it's gonna go up to 71 uh, just so you know down here it says uh, kilometers I have it I change the units to miles but down here because it is a Canadian car it says uh, kilometers an hour so that's a pretty convenient thing to do uh, let's go up to 75 it says that's the max and uh, yeah we're locked in at 75 which is 119 kilometers basically 120 so 75 is 120 you can't go over that in autopilot uh, that's the other thing that's nerfed right now because um, it doesn't have um, a radar okay folks so that's it like that's all we wanted to test we wanted to test to see the uh, if those things that Tesla said were limited with the lack of a radar are truly in fact limited there's some things like I said I can't test like the emergency collision avoidance stuff like that. I mean I, I don't want to put myself uh, or the, the safety of the public in jeopardy and put them in that kind of situation so I can't really test that but this is what we can test as the software updates continue like I said earlier we will uh, do more updates and I'll see how um, the technology progresses with these camera only vision systems because uh, I think this is here to stay I, I can't see Tesla going back and uh, reintroducing the radar uh, they've never been known to admit if they were wrong I'm not saying they are wrong time will tell but uh, we'll see we'll see what it is if you got any questions or comments let me know down below folks if you want to see anything because I'm uh, testing this as, as much as uh, I can if you want to see any uh, tests done that I can't think of or I'm not thinking of leave me a comment down below and I'll uh, try to make a video of it until then folks we'll talk to you later take care bye bye Yeah.